Praise the Lord. I hope everybody had a safe week. This is your brother Lynn again, preaching on and teaching on Genesis. We, 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 we really had a great time last week and the week before. So I get excited every time it's time to teach again in Genesis. And before we start, we will say a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for being able to have ears to hear and eyes to see in the mouth to speak your word. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. And as we go through this next lesson of you being with us, we say thank you and we praise you. We honor you. We lift you up. We magnify your holy name on this day. So, Father, give us revelation. Give us a year to hear what thus said the Lord. And we thank you again. We praise you. So as we get started, keep our mind focused on you. And we will give you all the praise. We will give you all the honor. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, we will start because we got a lot to cover again because we this is one of the most powerful lessons. Let's share our screen. Okay. Uh, you know, like always, you know how we do. And we have to start off a review. We don't just review Genesis. We go through this entire Bible, line upon line, piece upon piece. Every word we not going this word we use in half the Bible. Right? We're taking the theme of the thousand out. We're not taking the revelation out. So, but we like always we do. We, we will go through this quickly because we want to get to our list. Chapter one. In the beginning, God. Okay. In the beginning, God. God said. Spirit moved. And it was so. We know that he made man in his image. He made man and woman in his image, in his likeness. And he gave them dominion. He gave them dominion. He gave them dominion. And he blessed them. So we're not being blessed. We are already blessed. We are the new covenant. We're blessed. We have always been blessed with the earth. Then heavens and earth, chapter two, the heavens and earth was finished. Jesus said it was finished. And God rested. He rested. <laughs> he rested. He, 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 he hadn't stopped being at rest. Because of what he said. And then we go to chapter three. Satan's hand. And we know Adam's choice. Adam and Eve, they believe Satan. And God called them like he called his apostles, his prophets, his pastors, and his teachers, and his evangelists today. Where are you? Where are you in this pandemic? Where are you? Hmm. Now we go to chapter four. We're twins. We have Buddha out of the dark. Okay. Twins were born. We had Cain. And he told me, Cain, before he made this. Irreversible sin, killing his brother. Mm. Uh, he said, "Sin." Uh, what are you telling us today? 
sand crops is at your door. I desire to shoot crown tissue that crouches at your door. And it's a you must master. You are going to master that sin. Don't you? Brother Ben, you are going to master the sin. Yeah. All these, all the folks I pray for, all the folks that are out there, all pastors, all the apostles, all the teachers, all the men, all prophets, you will master that sin. You will master it. The man that see the crouches at your door, you will master it in this pandemic. Then we see the history of that. Then we see you will rule over all mankind. The Lord said, He even read the bread, He made man, and He said, I will destroy him. But Noah found faith. And he said, when he, Jesus said, it's going to be like in the day of Noah. And we see it today. Noah, like in the days of Noah, evil was ruling over mankind. Uh, but Noah found faith. So some of us, <laughs> for the rapture, he says, some of us found faith. see the flood that rain 40 days and 40 nights. The flood ended God remember Noah. And the Lord say mm. Then he made a Noah, he made a covenant with Noah. And God pronounced blessing. Okay. Not just on Noah, but on Shem, John, and Ham, his family, and his their wives. He pronounced a blessing. Mm. Then we see the Noah family record. Okay. Uh, let's see. Come on. Noah family record. Today, and I'm going to say this again there's no nations on this earth. No nations that didn't make up these three, these three brothers. No nation is on this earth today. And we still talk about racism and all this other crap. Pass separately from churches. Mm. Then we signed chapter and we saw what the flesh looked like. It was totally, it was totally flesh. And one, one that's of the flesh that we build a tower. Confusion and flesh is one is confusion. Okay. The whole earth was one, God said. Let's go down the sky. That's where we are. You see where all the languages go. And confused. He put, he put a different language in your mouth. The three brothers, three nations. Uh, okay. Then we see God's plan is in effect. Go to chapter 12. God calls Abram. Uh, you know, what would happen? And at the end of the chapter, he called him the name of the Lord. You got to read this, folks. I'm not going to read it again. Uh, then, chapter 13, you know, he first part told him, Lot, Lot. He took Abram just to him and his family and took him there. He was talking about it immediately. He was supposed to take Lot or his nephew. So we see what happens. Chapter 13, Abraham separates from him. Then God comes back. God said, I will be him. Mm -hmm. Chapter 14, Abraham, after the rest of the Bible, uh, after they separate, and on his way back, they get the place he gives you God incarnate. She first mentioned a tithe of the attempt. Abraham gave a tenth of his participant, his incarnate of God. This king of Salem, Jerusalem. Okay. Mm. And then chapter 15, you know, you see, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham. Abraham the covenant. Chapter 16, you see Hagar and Ishmael. Hagar war, Ishmael. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Chapter 17. Hallelujah. We get 
to uh, the circumcision covenant. God said, I will. Chapter 18, because I'm trying to get to you. I'm trying to get to you. It's really, it's really a powerful word. When God promised the son. And the Lord said, is it indeed your heart to share? Laughed. See, you want to make sure you today. Is there anything too hard? Is this going to be too hard for God? I know folks are laughing. Okay. Chapter 19. Uh, you know, because that's in the area from chapter 18. And it destroys Sodom and Gomorrah. It's not as down as Sodom and Gomorrah. So Abraham bargained. And should I tell my friend Abraham what I'm about to do? And Abraham said, You're too good to destroy the wicked with the righteousness. The only reason America is still standing because you got some righteous folk. <laughs> you got more than 10. And we had to burn all the way down. He couldn't find 10 righteous folks in some. That's why we got division today. Half and half. Pray for God heard. Uh, 
and then it stopped. It happened too soon. He heard her. And she got pregnant. But there was something going on her belt. So God, she went straight to God. She wrote a hug. She went to God. She knew God too. It took her God. She knew her God. God said, daughter, come on. You got two nations in you. And then we're younger than you. You know, we got two types of people right there. Okay. So here we go. We got Esau. They grew up and they got dysfunction. As we see how that goes. Bob watch this. Esau, the mother who loves Jacob. So, you know, we got two of these people. Two brothers fight. They don't like each other. One can cook and one could. One can get the food and one couldn't cook. <laughs> so, just so the one was smart. I call him smart. Jacob, you know, he cooked some food for his brother. His brother was faint. He said, What is my birthright? You won't see what your birthright is. So, he's, he's a schemer, he's a deceiver. And he saw his, his, his sales his birthright. He saw I hate I'm the best. <laughs> That's where it comes from. He saw I hate. God hates you, just don't like you as much as the other. He hates you. Okay, you scorn him. Okay, then we got chapter 26. Isaac makes an agreement. Okay, here we go. Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said, and Jacob still. Chapter he saw blessed now. He got a birthday now. He's still be blessed. <laughs> deceive always just deceive. You know, his wife's kids and deceives. You know, nothing good come out when you deceive. They headed out. Rebecca never saw his son again after that. Jacob left. Okay, he's still there. He runs from me. So I said, Daddy, now I'm going to get you. That's how they go, you know, brothers. Brothers killing brothers. Then chapter 28, you know, Jacob had a dream from the angel of the Lord. God gave him a ship to the head. Okay? And God gave him the promise like he gave his other two. He gave Isaac his body, and he gave Abraham his grandfather. God promised. God promised you can put, you can put your whole bank out, put on your stock trades on it. <laughs> So Jacob arrives at Laman's house. Now there's another seed of the picture of Laman. And Jacob, now Jacob got two wives. There's two deception. He got two of them. Laman deceived him like he deceived Esau. He did. He did. That's where you get it from. You get it honestly. From the family thing. Okay, you know, he got, he got, he got, he got Jacob's family record. Jacob's name, I like, you know. Rachel or Leah. Leah is two words. So now we got, we got a problem. One having babies, Leah, God saw that. So God looked at Leah's room. That was his wife, first wife. He looked at Leah's room and he clothed Rachel's. Okay, so here we go again. Here's your family record. Then it's time for him to go. His babies, it's time for him to go to Barnes. But later, when he tried to deceive him, he tried to keep him there. So he runs away from Lane. Okay, he runs away. Chapter 31. Lane, 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 Lane. I think he's going to teach him a lesson. But if God, you know, God is with Jacob. Hey, when God is with you, you, you better leave that bad. You better leave that book alone. Guys, think you keep messing with this whole thing. God is with him. That's why I keep telling you, you better leave him alone. You, if you would have, matter of fact, he blessed. He blessed those who blessed him. That's what people don't understand. Even in Israel, well, it's his church. He blesses, he blesses his body of believers. And you mess with him, you want to. So, baby, got the message. He said, You better not even speak. You better not even speak harsh to him. You better speak peacefully to him. You better know what the word and the name he did, the name he understood. Jacob's God. Then now, you, we go on a little further. We got <clears throat> chapter 32 running away. All of a sudden, he's going to meet Esau. All of a sudden, he's going to separate his name. So I 
wrestling God. Even though know, he's like, a wrestler, you know he's wrestling God. Even if God's in jail, he's in jail. You gotta understand, you gotta understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who he's God for. So that when you, when you wrestle with God, then you get the transformation. I call it the transformation process. You get born again, you wrestling. You really wrestling with yourself. And God comes to the picture. He's ready for you, ready to make a decision. So you say, Lord, you put up your hand, Lord, I surrender. <laughs> Come on, Lord, I, I believe you. So he wrestled with his God. We should be transformed. You know, I call you became born again. But then you're carnal. The next chapter, you see that there. When you meet Esau, you go back to the name Jacob. The name he changed his name. So it be Israel. You Israel, you walk in the spirit, you got power, you prevail, power in God. And then you ask, you walk in the spirit, you kill. Because you're going to ask what he asked you to ask. So <laughs> You you want him. Then you want is him. And he and him is the fullness of joy and love. And him is the fullness of everything. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and everything that dwell therein. So you ask him for what's yours. And you already got it. But I think that alone, that's another, that's another preaching, teaching, lesson. I mean that alone. And then you got dying. Here we go. He saw he go back to OJ. See, he had to tell him to see, always to deceive him. He said, I'll meet you at the house. And he saw he was there to protect him. But he goes the opposite direction. We see what happens. But he did say at the end of that, he said, Me, Leo, Israel, the God, the God of Israel. He understood even more. He had a better understanding of God. But he goes the opposite way. He still can trust God like he should be trusting God. Right? He's fearful of his brother. When you trust God, you ain't fearful of nobody. The only person you fear is God. Since he didn't understand that, he goes the opposite direction. He leads in protection. He leads in protection. And then what happens? We have Diana, who dog, comes on the scene. And she, uh, him, between him and Leah, and she gets raped by the heathens, but he wanted Esau, he wouldn't have to worry about her dog being raped. That's the last time you hear Diana got raped, and you saw it. You got to read that chapter. They make his sons, his sons, you know, upset and because they humbled his dog and he killed everybody, every male in that town. Now he's afraid. Sometimes God comes back on the scene. Jake, Jake, we'll return. Stop. I told you that I'm going to just return to battle. And on his way, both Rachel and Isaac died. So seeing the shift again. Then you see Esau family record. Yeah, and that's an important chapter. You got to read. You got to know who Esau is. Okay? You see his family record. Then it comes down to. Uh, chapter, you get Joseph. <coughs> now, this, the scene is getting ready to shift again. You got the dreamer. You're going to see what comes of a dreamer. You always say, what, What's going on? I had a dream. And then when he had that dream, his brother even hated him. Read the chapter. Read the chapter. I was showing him his destiny. And Israel, see, the thing Israel knew, Israel had the to his destiny, which he did. Powerful chapter, chapter 37, powerful chapter. Now, Israel stands up now. Jacob is no longer Jacob. He, 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 he's Israel until the end of the chapter. And they go back to Jacob. He's crying. His brothers thought they could kill him, but all they were doing was moving him to his destination, moving him to where he's supposed to be, where God wants him to be. Now, the scene shifts back to praise. Judah and Tamar, the most important deception. So, deception runs in the family, both deceived and being deceived. Okay? But the, we got a motive here to both pay. Okay? You're supposed to do what you promise. 
And then Judah not supposed to do what he was supposed to be doing. He married it outside the family. Okay, he married a He the folk he didn't he was not supposed to ever marry. He knew that. But his father didn't care his father because he lost he thought he lost Joseph. He didn't care about any of them. One thing he cared about was his, his himself. Okay, but he's still the father. Now we go back to the dreamer. <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? Okay, I'm going to keep that serious today. What is your name, Dreamer? What is your name, Dreamer? Now we go back to Joseph. Now he's a slave. He's June 10th. June 19th. He's June 10th. Now she was slave. Waka Waka. Make me a slave. Waka Waka. be a slave. We're going to get into Revelation. Joseph and Potiphar's wife. But you gotta understand this is gonna be power, powerful saying of the day. God is with me. Is God with you? So let's start reading. I'm getting happy before I even start this lesson. Um, God had to show me some things this week. And I'm there. He said, okay, good son, you still, I'm showing you some stuff. So I'm gonna show you. But look at that. I want you to look at that picture. That's an image. Look at okay. artists do that. We're gonna see what that means. You know, Joseph and part of his wife. We're gonna see some stuff. We're gonna see how what Christians should do and what Christians should not do. This is this is the that's why I say this is we can we each lesson is go bow about powerful in this pandemic. So let's look at this here. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. Look at Joseph was brought down to Egypt, brought down to the world. We can tell you the revelation in Potiphar, in office. Look at him. He's an officer of the faith, the captain in the Jehovah. Well, we mentioned that last time. He's an executioner of the royal guard of Egypt. He's the man who kills folk. And he brought him from the Ishmael. It's called Ishmael. Uh, revelation. You remember the Isaac and Ishmael? Abraham, other family. Okay, come on. Come on. Ishmael. Ishmael brought him down. So God's giving you revelation. See, if your family is the devil stuck to you, they brought you into slavery. They brought you down to the execution. I leave mean, that alone. You'll get it before it's been secure. But the Lord was with Joseph. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. But the Lord. But the Lord. Wait, 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 apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, come on, evangelists. Oh, come on, this is a slave now. The Lord was with Joseph, a slave. And though he was a slave, ooh, 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 ooh. though he was a slave, he was successful in prosperous name. Uh oh. Not no only slave. Revelations. He was a he was look at it. He was successful. And he was prosperous. Man. Uh oh. Uh, wait, wait, let's let's keep reading because I'm getting I'm starting to go off here. And he was in the house of his master. The Egyptians in the house of his master. In the house of his master. Let's listen and listen. He was in the house of his. Uh, I know y'all don't like to hear that nowadays. He, look at that. He was a slave. Let me, let me, let me highlight that. He was a slave. Though he was a slave, he was a successful man. And he was in the house of his. Oh, let, me, let me do that again. Let me uh, cut that up. The master of the Egyptians. We don't like that. Man. We, we don't like that to hear that word. And his master saw. Remember, God's doing this. And he's still walking straight. Okay, you get mad at the master. You get mad at the master. And he looked at him. He said, and his master saw. He didn't see that. Come on, Paul. Saw that the Lord was with him. How did he see something that's happening? And that the Lord made all 
that he did flourish and succeed his hand. My God, my God, my God. Come on, apostles. You see that person in that congregation come to your congregation and they all everything they do. God prosper. And you don't even do anything with them because you're jealous. But see, apostles stop. Come on, apostles. Apostles and pastors and and and, 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 and to come on. Teachers and evangelists. You, 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 you say, you say, and the master saw that the Lord was with him. And he made all that he did flourish and succeed in his hand. Okay, no, no, what did you do? Now he he is his heathen. So Joseph pleased Potiphar. Look at it. Mm -mm. He pleased Potiphar. And he found favor in his sight. And he sure look. He said, what's the name of this? I said, we serve. We serve. We serve people. He said, why are you so successful? We serve. Why are you so successful? There it is right here. We serve. And Jesus said, that's the greatest among you. Serve. Y'all, you know, get that. You serve. You should be trying to be mad at this boy. Trying to control him. I'll leave it alone. I'm getting happy. And then his master made him supervise. Uh, we call him the house. House, house, house Negro. We, we mad. We got to feel Negro and the house Negro. And every slave, you have noticed, you have the house and the, and the slave. Oh, the field. The field, the one, one, one getting beat all day long. But they don't want to do the master say. Okay. Okay. He, he made him supervisor with a house. Oh, and he, in his charge, from that time, look at it, from that time, he made him, let me, he, he repeats it again, supervisor of his house and all that he did. The Lord bless him. Look at it. See, when you make who God bless over oh, all your stuff, Guess what? Look, look at it. The Lord blessed the Egyptian child. For Joseph's sake, you getting blessed. Like Laban. Laban was blessed because of Jacob. Come on, folk. Where are you going to get this? this look at the Egyptian house. The Lord was blessing was on all that he had in the house. And in the field. So if I was in the field, if I was disobedient in one of those houses in those fields, oh, slave, I'd be blessed because God blessed the entire house. And Potiphar left all that he had in Joseph charge. He paid no attention to anything he had except the food he ate. Hmm. He paid no attention. Anything to the food he ate, that's all he ate. Look, now Joseph was an attractive person. You see, he slaves out here, when we slave, he has an attractive people. Finally. Then after the time his master cast her out. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Temptation. Cast his eye on Joker. She said, lie with me. What he refused, he said to his wife, look, this is how you speak. Now, I know a lot of you folk probably, you know, a lot of you Christians, born again. She said, lie with me. But he refused. Oh, why, why, why you refuse that, Joe? Well, come on, Joe, you're a young man. Lie with my wife. Now, he's a lie. She's a lie. Uh, See here with me in the house, my master has concern about nothing. He has put all that he has in my care. Hey, this is Joe answering. He said, but he refused. He said to the man's wife, see here, uh, uh, don't get it wrong. Man. Yeah, you're attracting your little lady, young lady. I ain't never been with you. You're a beautiful young lady. Yes, I'm a, I'm a teenager. I'm a teenager. And so, you know, my hormones is raging, you know, I'm not going to do that, you know. He, but he, look, look at his reason, you got to look at his reason. He said, see here with me, 
in the house. My master has concerned me about nothing. He said, see, with me in the house. He was up, my master. You might see the way in the house of my master has concerns about nothing. He ain't concerned about nothing. He has put all that he has in my care. He is not, he said, he, he is not greater in this house than I am. You understand? saying? He's not been greater in this house than I am. Nor has he kept anything from me except you. Okay, you, you would think she'd get that. Oh, come on, folks. For you as wife. You as wife. Yeah, come on. I see if you gave me one of your slaves. You, 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 you go, you here, you, you know that. You got the execution of this mother. How then can I do this great evil of sin against my God? So he knew, like David, the only other brother, David said, I admit I'm sinning against you and all. What I said today, I said, Lord, I said to get you on your own. Then when you have to ask the prayer, you should be praying not that that person made me do that. Okay? He made me do that. You better understand the revelation of this, what he said. Well, you should, when he said he's an evil, this evil and sin, the sin is evil. Sin is a person. And she spoke to Joseph day after day, but he did not listen to her. Okay. She spoke to Joseph, but he did not listen to her. To lie with her and to be with her. She was a persistent devil. A persistent devil. Then it happened after about this time, Joseph went into the house to attend his duty. She just doing what he wanted to do. Attending his duty. And none of the men of the house were indoors. Come on. Come on. We're going to get revelation here. Nobody's there. Not the devil setting the trap. Oh, Joseph is none the wise. He's still a man, teenager. None of the wise. And she called him by his garment. And she said, Lie with me, okay. She said, lie with me. Come on. Joe, what are you going to do? She got you now. She got you. She got your garment. She got a hold on you now. She grabbed you. She touched you. I'm going to get you this time. But he left his garment in her hand. Look. You, you, better, you better check yourself, man. You better flee. And he fled to go out of the house. Now. Let's see the devil. Here, this is the devil now. And she saw that he left his garment. Uh, that, that Jezebel left her garment. That, that, that deceiver, that devil who you, she being used by the devil, she was influenced. Her lust of flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life. Walking in the flesh. He left, she left his body. And he fled away. See, he fled away. So she gave her the devil and said, you better get him now. Since he, he made you, he, he embarrassed you. He made you feel like you were attractive. So she called the man in the house. Now she tried to lie on the man. Behold, he, your master, brought this Hebrew. Now he's a Hebrew. And to us, to mock him and insult us. Come on, he insult you. Your ego was, was messed up. You thought you would do anything you wanted. And he came in to where I was lying with me and I screamed at the top of my voice. No, you didn't. And they know you didn't. But you know, you the master's wife. You the execution of the wife. He ain't ain't no people. Uh, many, many folk we got killed because of a lie. A lie. That's why God hates liars. Because of a lie. You know. When he heard it, he screamed and cried. Okay, he left his garment with me and he fled out of the house. 
And she laid up with his garment by he laid up his garment by her into the mass and turned the house. I'm gonna tell you something. If you had been a this is revelation, now listen to me, I'm gonna give you some revelation. Then she told him the same story, the same lie. The Hebrews servant whom you brought among us came to the um, among came he said came he came among us to mock me to mock and insult me what but when I screamed and cried he left his garment with me and he fled out the house and when Joseph master heard the words of his wife saying to him saying to him this is the way your servant treat me. His wrath was kindled. Okay, no. Think about it. Now he's an executioner and his wrath was kindled. He's an executioner. Who do you believe? That's a question. That's a question for you who's listening, whose voice is listening to this tape, to this broadcast, to this sermon. He didn't, if he thought Joseph did that to his wife, he would have killed him. He would kill Joseph. If he thought that, he wouldn't have thrown him in no prison. He wouldn't throw him. He had been a dead man. You see, he went to America and blacks were slaves. Somebody, a, 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 a white person say something about a slave, they cut off his genitals and hung on. So you know he must have didn't put it in. Come on. Look. He said his wrath is kindled. The revelation. And Joseph Master took him. Yeah, he took him. He said he and put him in the prison. <laughs> A man who tried to rape his wife, right? An execution of the Pharaoh. You don't get it, you get it by, by God giving you the Spirit of God. Okay. Because that's revelation for you. And a place in the state prison was contained, was confined. Okay. So he was there in the prison. But, uh -uh. Uh -uh. but look what happened. Look what happened. The Lord was with Joseph and he showed him mercy. loving kindness and gave him favor in the sight of the war. Remember, Joseph had a dream. You can't kill a dream. Remember they said, let's see what comes about his dream. You know, they, they, they were the revel the revelation broke that when his brother said that. Let's see what he does kill him. Let's, you can't kill a dream. You can't kill God. You can't kill a person God gave a dream to. He, he's on a mission. He's, God was with him. And, uh, people sit there and say, I'm going to get rid of so and so. And see what becomes of him or her dream. And that person at the time, they, they don't think about uh, why they, yeah, they do now. They do why I'm not going through what I'm going through. God gave you a dream. Get you somewhere. Uh, get somebody in COVID. Why did you die in COVID? You had a dream. Why everybody about my family who died up here? You got a dream. He was in prison. He was a slave, but he was free. Hey, look at that. He committed Joseph care of all the prisoners who were in the prison. Whatsoever was done there, he was in charge of it. I'm going to be a prisoner in charge. Come on. Come on, folks. You got, you got, you got prison wardens doing it. How are you going to be in prison? 
can talk. How you been part of it as a slave? It's hard. You were supervised as a slave. Uh, I'll leave that alone because one day you're going to catch it. I'll be saying this every day. I'll be preaching on the job. I go, man, you, you intelligent. That's my go tell you, you ain't nothing. Uh, on the devil of lie. You believe me. What God is saying. I'm speaking for God. Telling you what he said about you. You said that he wants you to be. You're better than that. Not believe. But somebody come along and say that you're not who you are. Like you believe that. Oh my God, my God, my God. So let me get you to pitch. It's a charge. In the prison, pay no attention. And why are you going to pay attention? He's on an assignment. Preachers lose that, lose that blessing because they let folk go for the church when they are the assignment. They have them sitting in the pew, sitting in the pit. Well, God has them in charge. <laughs> you think you are in charge. You think you in God. You got to be kidding. God gave you control. He put you as an apostle. He put you as a Angelus, he put you as a pastor, he put you as a prophet, he put you as a teacher. But he has a replacement for it. You know what he said when a person walk into your church, you get afraid, you get fearful, you get jealous. But that's a sign. Uh, that's a soul spirit. Uh, we'll get there later. Look at that. These guys were afraid they were heathens. But they understood. They saw God all on this boy. So they put anything that he was, Joseph, in charge. Uh, you see your tax analysts. They put you in charge. People come to you. Because mm, God is all on you. And they put you as an acquisition or anything. They put you in charge. People come to you. They look at you. They ain't waiting for you. The Daniels of the world, the evil boys of the world. The Lord was with them. Look at The Lord was with them. I'm getting ready to end it. And he made whatever he did to prosper. How do the ways of God? He did everything he did to prosper. Everything they do, it prospers. You see the church dying. Get what? You didn't already kicked out the prophet. You already kicked out that blessing that God sent from your church because of your jealousy. So I stop here. We gotta say, we gotta, we gotta stop here. We gotta stop sharing. Okay. Yeah. Well, come on, folks. Look at look at God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for that revelation. I thank you. You have given me that long, long time ago. But Father, I thank you for in this pandemic that you have given it to me again and again and again about not only myself, but about others. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for being in me, not only with me, but in me. I thank you for being in others. You've given me an ear to hear and a mouth to speak and eyes to see. Even myself. I thank you this morning and I praise you and I lift you up. Magnify your holy name. And as I pray for the family of faith, Lord, cover them, help them to understand this revelation that you have given me. Help them to hear the ones who pick, who hear this message. Help them to understand, help them pass it to others who's going through some trials and tribulations. Help them to understand that it ain't about you. Um, he's already told, he said, I did it. You said you did it. You had to get us somewhere. You had to take us out. 
of Africa and move us into this land that you shared your grace on. Help them to understand the value that they have as being a slave, as being a servant of the Most High God. Ah, and I thank you and I praise you and I honor you. I lift you up. I magnify your holy name on this day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So, boy, folk, folk, you got to understand this. That's why I get on my knees and down and I'm crying because, I, because of my lack of of, of doings, I, I, I don't understand sometimes. I do understand. I do understand this word. I understand the wisdom and the, and the knowledge and the power of God's word. His, he, the Holy Spirit, how he laid it out. You, you can't get no clearer than what I, and that's why I put readily, I put, I put little commentaries in my, when I'm reading the word. You got to read it. You got to read it along. And you got to say, wow. You know, I had a dream and all of a sudden I'm a bus boy. I had a dream and I was, I'm a waitress. I had a dream and now, you know, I didn't get raped and maimed and beat up. And, but I had a dream and I didn't die in it. Uh, God with you. And all of a sudden I get born again and my eyes open. I say, now I understand, Lord. I understand. And then you go back and you forgive your rapist and you go back and you feel the, the person who abused you in your household. Then you go back and there are those who, when you were a child, you know, treated you bad. You go back and you wonder, you know, you treat you, you know, my father used to beat me. He said, oh, my father used to beat me. You know, my mother used to beat me and I, I didn't like it. I didn't have that much food. Now you sit there, big as a house, and eating food like it and, and you're still mad. So what's going on? You have to realize that God was with you. You still here. It didn't kill you. It should have made you stronger, but you're still in the past. You're still wondering why this man didn't do this or this woman didn't do that or why I'm, you know, I'm divorced or why I'm single or why I could never get a man or never get a woman. You don't understand. God was with you. He knows what he's doing. He's got a greater plan for you. Your father has a greater plan. God is good with you. I love it. He put him over everything. How can you be a slave and a supervisor? And the same Put it in the same context. He was a slave and a supervisor. He said, even a heathen saw God on the man. Is people seeing God on you? When you walk around and people say, I know you are God. I remember I, so one of the investigators came in and he said, I knew that you were, yeah, I thought you were a man of God. He saw something. Got nervous because I knew you were. I thought you were a man of God. Because I said, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a preacher, I'm a minister. He said, oh, I thought you. I thought you were. See, he thought. As a man thinking. Okay, come on. And it's hard. So people, you know, I, if, they, if nobody seen anything like that to you, if nobody, now some people are saying you're a devil. But the right people, you know, because they saying it because that devil is in them speaking. <laughs> but when they see God on you, they say, I see God all over you. In a bookstore. Can I, I, I was in a bookstore buying books. Oh, Pastor White came up to me and said, I know you're a man of God. I need to ask you a question. What? Did, did I have a sign saying, man of God? I hit the check and pull off my jacket. Let's see if I have a man of God. Let's see if I have a cross around my neck. I was just in my shoes. Don't pay no attention. Just find the book. I had to minister to a pastor like in a bookstore. They know when you come into these churches. They know you. If part of knew that David being, I mean, this Joseph being a slave. Even David, when we get to David, Saul knew 
even said it. Faith, it comes out of your enemy's mouth. What you are, and you still don't believe God. And that's the, that's the, you still don't know your name. That's the hurtful part. Jacob knew there was something special about Joseph. He knew, he said he bonded to dream. He bonded it. And then he's still crying. I leave it alone. I'm going to end this broadcast now because we, we got, we got, you, you, you got, this is just the beginning of the story. See, God got to get you somewhere. But you got free, you got free, you got a free will. God loves you. 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 So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this broadcast. I'm going to, I thank you for this broadcast. I thank you for the people to hear. It's about to hear this powerful message. What is your name? Joseph Dreamer. What is your name, Dreamer? What is your name? You said it. You said it. You know, you, you can't do this sin against your God. You said God is good. God is good. God is good. So as we end it, we love you. We praise you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.